Uh, we will now proceed to the panel from our friends from Chambers. So we will hear from uh, Mr. Mis Mirsa Yasser Spahic, who is coming from, uh, from the uh, Chamber of Economy of the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, and then you, you can join us, uh, yeah, to, to take a seat. Sanja Miovcic from the Foreign Investors Council from Bosnia and Herzegovina will be also with us. And our colleague Dragana Kokot, Secretary General from the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Republika Srpska. So our colleagues from, from, from Sarajevo and Banja Luka are with us. Uh, and the team from Belgrade, of course, is here at your disposal. Um, so we will hear uh, from the colleagues, uh, they will have the short presentation. So feel free to be flexible in whichever way you want to start. I really leave it to you to, to, um, to, to, to navigate it. Yeah. Maybe Mirsad would like to go, go first. Uh, or, 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 uh, or Sanya. Or, or Sanya. Or Sanya because she has, yeah, yeah. Sanya because gender project. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, thank you. Like your card, your card, if you have it. Maybe, maybe. Thank you, thank you. For agribusiness, everything. For agribusiness, I will have ideas. Agribusiness, agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah. Let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, dear colleagues, participants, uh, again, uh, first of all, I would like to share a few, share a few of you to my great pleasure that I'm here. Uh, all the best regards from all of my colleagues from Chamber of Commerce in Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, all our membership. And uh, during the first, uh, first uh, panel, uh, I spoke about Chamber system generally. And uh, now I will try to be shorter because the, the most important thing which I think regard, mean regarding to Chamber of Commerce is I already mentioned. Uh, regarding to Bosnia and Herzegovina, which I spoke about our population, and uh, on, the, on the map you can see our administrative organization, two entities, and uh, Birchko district. And uh, our currency in convertible mark, uh, which uh, directly connected with euro, and this is really has the fixed change rate. It's very important for all potential business 
in Bosnia Herzegovina, capital city is Sarajevo, and the major city is also Banja Luka, Bihać, Mosta, Tuzla, and so on and so on. Chamber of Commerce of Federation, uh, as a general chamber, is established according to law regarding the Chamber of Commerce, and uh, they also have the 10 cantonal uh, chamber network. Uh, this is only the headquarters of, of this chamber. Our organization board, it's really similar with all our chambers regarding to sectors, regarding to uh, administrative, administrative parts. Uh, we mean generally that Bosnia Herzegovina is very, uh, can be a good chance for potential investor to get an investor from, uh, from Nigeria or some, uh, some other market. And the uh, eighth uh, point is strategic location, stable financial sector, favorable trade and other agreements, favorable legal environment and foreign investor, tax and custom systems, competitively repriced educated workforce, low operating cost, and natural resources. I mentioned our free trade agreement, which uh, our country already already has, and it is very important that, like in also in other countries in Balkan region. We have uh, already uh, uh, Central European Free Trade Agreement, CEFTA, Free Trade Agreement with Turkey, uh, preferential trade agreement with all uh, European countries, and uh, Free Trade Agreement with EFTA, it is country Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, and Switzerland. It means complete Europe is covered, but uh, Free Trade Agreement. Uh, it is uh, operation cost in, uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina is really lower than in Europe in Europe Union. And also, it is important maybe to mention that uh, corporate tax in 10%. It's, uh, uh, it is very important to, to mention uh, when we spoke with all potential foreign investors, it's really, really competitive uh, data. Uh, generally, Bosnia-Herzegovina is also, as the other countries in, uh, in Balkan region, is, uh, has a good reputation in log industrial tradition and manufacturing sector regarding to metal industry, uh, automotive industry, furniture industry, also IT sectors uh, and others. This is also some of uh, foreign investors which are already in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, energy sector is very, uh, very also attractive. Uh, as I mentioned during the first panel, uh, uh, more than 45% of uh, electricity in Bosnia and Herzegovina is produced from renewable resources. It's one of the, maybe the, the, the best the information of complete in, in Europe. For example, uh, one Germany, which m uh, spoke m uh, many times regarding to uh, renew renewable resources, has the 28%. Uh, and also, uh, it's many additional pro now new projects regarding to include uh, wind power plants, uh, small hydropower plants, and others. Metal processing industry, uh, manufacturing support from beginning to, to the end, you know, from raw materials through design, engineering, and production, producing uh, components for generally metal, metal and electro industry. Uh, especially in last years, last, uh, after pandemic, and also after uh, war, Russia, Ukraine, uh, it's on the, on, the, on the site is really one new reconstruction of global supply chains. All uh, main player in global supply chain, uh, this is country company from European Union, uh, try to, to find some additional sub supply, especially from Balkan, Balkan region, because this uh, already mentioned tradition in manufacturing industry. And also it's important for our chamber uh, maybe uh, f four years ago, we established Chamber of Engineers through Chamber of Commerce and Federation of Bosnia. It's going to because we recognize that we need one strongest database of experts. Now, we, uh, in this Chamber of Engineers, exist more than 13 different uh, different sectors for all engineering sectors is, is covered in, the, in, in that. I mentioned that uh, for uh, production of automotive parts in Balkan region, also in, in, in Bosnia, that now that doesn't exist any, any uh, uh, European brand of car without any parts, any parts in, uh, uh, from Bosnia Herzegovina. And uh, because, uh, especially because automotive industry, we established 
uh, maybe five years ago, one kind of representative office in Wolfsburg, for, especially for this association. It means that our company, which, is, which are in membership of automotive industry, can organize the meeting in the biggest hub in, uh, in Germany for automotive industry, not, not organize meeting in the reception of hotels or some restaurants, just uh, directly in, in center of automotive. Agricultural and food processing industry. Uh, also, it's a very important and a big, big potential uh, in, in Bosnia Herzegovina, and we believe that in cooperation with some of uh, producer of uh, distributors uh, uh, from uh, this big market in, in Africa, uh, we can find maybe some solution with some of this. Uh, for wood industry, it's very important that you know. Uh, about 33% of our territory is covered by forest. It means for this, uh, uh, this industry, this product is complete from Bosnia and Herzegovina, from, for, uh, from, from wood uh, and uh, by design and manufacturing, all our uh, company which work in uh, furniture industry absolutely make export in, in Europe Union. And now uh, every year uh, in the biggest and the most important international fair for new furniture, some of company from Bosnia get the gold medals for, uh, for design and quality. Uh, for tourism, really a uh, complete Balkan region, of course, including Bosnia and Herzegovina, it's one new unexplored destination. Uh, and uh, every year uh, uh, after pandemic, uh, more and more this, this sector absolutely growing up. But we believe that this tourism sector uh, must be included in complete one region down story. It's not necessary that someone come only in Sarajevo, be in Bosnia. It's important to, in, uh, to try to get uh, maybe a few days more to visit also uh, in, uh, interested uh, destination in Serbia, Montenegro, Macedonia, and so on. IT sector is also uh, very important in, in, uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, and now it's many, many uh, experts work for international companies for uh, developing, uh, develop, developing sectors. Uh, through the Chamber of Commerce, generally, uh, it's, you can uh, establish some connect engineering stakeholders, improve knowledge, initiative, make some uh, business events, and be integrated uh, part of the, of the network. Uh, we, uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, 25 different associations, but every time we make exploring the situation in the market and all new initiative ideas, some, for example, if 10 companies has some mutual stories, we will establish a, a different association for them. Because if, if they have some initiative to policy makers or some uh, uh, idea and good project for some other market, it's easier if they work through the, through the association. We also make some uh, program for, for including the different uh, uh, experts out of chamber to work for us. Because that we established this chamber of engineers that uh, through the, this, by this route can uh, include uh, some of experts in some uh, special area directly uh, in some company or some uh, uh, specific, specific sectors. And uh, when we spoke that we are working together, Chamber of Commerce and Federation, Chamber of Commerce of Republic of Serbia, Chamber of uh, Commerce Republic of Serbia, uh, never mind. Uh, all of us, we can look that we are chamber into chamber, chamber through the chamber. You know, it's because it's a absolutely, it's, it's not possible to make some uh, strictly line between market in Bosnia and market in Serbia or market in uh, North Macedonia, Montenegro and so on. Uh, all, uh, for example, in our chamber, everybody can be uh, in our membership. If they have idea to establish business, to work with some of our company, can be with some our contract in our, in our membership. This is uh, what I have to talk to you now, but uh, you know, uh, I'm absolutely here for don't hesitate, contact me and ask it anything that you need to get with, together with my colleagues. We will be su your support in your future activities in this, in this market. Thank you very much.
Your Excellency, President of the Chamber of Lagos, Mr. Dada, dear friend, uh, all uh, uh, representatives of other organizations and companies, uh, thank you for the opportunity to uh, be here today with you and to share some information about uh, our country and the economy. Uh, it is very hard to speak when we are all coming from the same country, and I will repeat a lot that Mirsad already said, and probably Sanya will have the biggest challenge <laughs> after our presentation, but I will uh, keep my short because, uh, as you will see, uh, we are representing the same country. I just put a little bit more focus on the entity that I'm coming from and the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of the entity of Republic of Srpska, I will try to present uh, more focused here. Um, okay, what my friend and colleague Mirsad already said, uh, we are very well positioned in the Europe. I like to say that Bosnia and Herzegovina is heart-like country in the middle of the Europe, so it's really great geostrategic location. Uh, we have a free trade area, low operating cost, etc. Uh, and uh, Okay, is it working? Yeah. Uh, I won't uh, repeat uh, myself. I will just say that uh, we as a country have some, uh, uh, at least we are trying to construct and develop a bigger, b better infrastructure, uh, constructing the railway, uh, 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 motorways, and uh, we have three international airports, and as I said, very close to other neighboring countries. Some of them are part of the member of the EU, some are not, but it's really very close and easy to reach all of our countries. Um, um, uh, we hear today that uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina have uh, some free trade area and international uh, agreements. Uh, we, we heard that there is a Central East Free Trade Agreement. It's uh, between the countries that are not a member of uh, European Union. Uh, free Trade Agreement with the Turkey, and uh, we are a potential candidate for the membership in European Union, so we have a, a Free Trade Agreement or a stabilization and association agreement between the EU and Bosnia and Herzegovina that allowed us to reach the huge market of Europe, I would say. Um, uh, this is the business environment uh, uh, focusing on Republic of Srpska, the entity I'm, I'm coming from and representing. Uh, a profit tax is 10%, income tax is 8%, VAT is a unique, it's 70% in whole Bosnia and Herzegovina, and we have a tax-free portion for income, it's uh, around 500 euros. What is important for the potential investors, uh, the dividend tax is zero, the same situation is in whole Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, cont social contribution rate in total is 31, and we have some incentives for investors. The, uh, the, the potential investor in Bosnia and Herzegovina is, pre, uh, is uh, free of charge for the customs and uh, VAT for the equipment uh, that he or she imports uh, for the purposes of the doing business operation. Uh, we have some uh, incentives for the employment, some incentives for uh, technology improvement in companies, for digitalization. Uh, so it's, uh, we, we like to say it's a favorable for investor uh, besides this geostrategic geo position. Uh, I think the tax policy in Bosnia and Herzegovina is really favorable. This is just to compare uh, the Republic of Srpska Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina as the Bosnia and Herzegovina and Republic of Serbia, Republic of Croatia uh, when it comes to income tax and, and uh, corporate tax and other uh, contributions and uh, burdens for the companies. Uh, you can see from these uh, figures that there is a uh, I would say better conditions for, for investors in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, uh, I will not repeat myself because uh, I already uh, said, that, said this. This is the uh, average net salary in Republic of Srpska divided by the sectors. 
Uh, I mean, you are aware that Bosnia and Herzegovina is uh, uh, is, is the country with with, with small figures, <laughs> uh, but it's. Uh, uh, sometimes it's favorable for the investors and for the businessmen because it's not too expensive to doing business in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, already mentioned the incentives and, and uh, the tax uh, framework and I just want to say that uh, we are uh, working a lot in last years uh, as we are trying to become a member of the European Union, we are, we are working a lot on some um, administrative reforms and the digitalization of the public sector and the private sector, uh, trying to develop e-services and to become more business uh, favorable for, for the, the companies. Um, yeah, the FDI intelligence, the, 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 the Financial Times actually ranking the Republic of Srpska in 2023 uh, as one of the 10 small regions of the future for the uh, foreign investment strategy. So we have actually a lot uh, investors from, from Germany, from Italy, from, um, uh, okay, our closest neighbors, uh, the Croatia, the Slovenia, and uh, the Serbia. And the why I'm mentioning this, it is very important for us that uh, we are cooperators, that we are working with the best uh, producers in European Union. So it's a, a kind of good image for, for, for us. Uh, we, we have the same uh, slides, <laughs> but different, different logos, some of the investors in, in Republic of Srpska. Um, okay, the key sectors, I would say the same as, as Mirsad already presented. Uh, the, the metal and electric industry is the traditional industry, traditionally uh, developed sector in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and we have um, a good, uh, uh, good and quality um, workforce there, and also investments and uh, availability of raw materials. So uh, in this uh, global circumstances, we are really becoming more attractive for, for investors because uh, of the availability of the resources and tradition in, 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 in very precise and very quality uh, industry. So you, you see on this slide that uh, our companies are cooperating with the Mercedes, BMW, Volvo, Bosch, and, and other uh, globally recognized uh, producers. Um, ICT is growing sector, as everywhere probably. <laughs> so um, it's really growing in Bosnia and Herzegovina and uh, a lot of young people is attracted to the uh, ICT sector and communication technologies. Uh, in this moment, the companies from ICT sector are mostly working for foreign partners, foreign markets, but we have a good examples of local companies, uh, uh, family uh, developed companies that are working for the needs of uh, uh, companies from other traditional uh, business sectors and for the um, uh, public sector. And we have representatives here uh, of uh, today. The Lanaco company is one of the leading company in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina in ICT and uh, communication technology solutions. They have even their own academy, IT academy, and they produce actually the best uh, workforce and uh, people uh, for, for the ICT sector and for the needs of ICT sector. Uh, wood processing industry also with a huge tradition in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, not only in Bosnia and Herzegovina but in the whole region. Mirsad already said that we have a great cover coverage uh, with the forestry in our country, uh, 150 years old tradition. And we are very proud that we can say that in wood processing industry we have um, a final product with high value and uh, some of our producers are working for IKEA. And some of our producers have, uh, had, uh, they have uh, its own brand and exporting to the Nordic countries, to the Scandinavian countries besides the EU, other EU countries. So it's uh, definitely a reference that took a lot uh, for, the, for the quality and, um, and, and the great potential of wood processing industry. The textile, leather and footwear also, very traditional sector in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, employing a huge uh, number of people, 
some of the companies have their own brands, but mostly, I have to say that, mostly are working long jobs. So they are working for Adidas, Ikea, Lova, or, or other uh, global producers of the textile and footwear. Uh, food industry, it's a great potential in Bosnia and Herzegovina. We have um, a big uh, amount of good and quality agricultural land. Uh, the, the biggest per capita in the region. I can't remember the number, but it is really with a big potential. Uh, we have uh, clean uh, rivers, clean lakes, and uh, natural resources that are really uh, uh, providing a great chance for agriculture to develop. And in last years, we have a final producers uh, in, in this uh, area that are exporting to, to, to uh, uh, EU. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I forgot to say uh, on the previous slide that some of our producers from textile and food sector, sector uh, they actually produce for uh, um, police and uh, army needs uh, in Germany, in Switzerland, and, and in, in some other countries, the uniforms and the footwear for uh, the officials and, and the uh, members of these forces. So it's really a high level of quality. Uh, and for the agriculture and food industry, I would say that in last years we are focusing on uh, or organic uh, production and the growth of uh, uh, vegetables and fruits. And it's, uh, it, it is demanding, but we are very proud to say that we have some uh, producers that started to export uh, abroad and, uh, as I said, uh, mostly to European countries. And uh, all these sectors that I mentioned are, of course, covered with uh, specially export-oriented companies. Uh, they have uh, uh, introduced quality systems in their own production. They, are, um, they have implemented ISO standards, uh, HASSB or CMARC, or what, it depends which industry is in question. They are actually very aware uh, uh, on the necessity to have standards that guarantee quality and sustainability. Renewable energy, we talked a lot today about the renewable energy, so I won't uh, 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 use a lot of time in, in this area. And Ariana, as a representative of, of the company that is a leader in, in uh, renewable energy uh, facilities and, and uh, mm, uh, yeah, well, the, the, I forgot the name, the, um, yeah, the, uh, solar power uh, electricity uh, uh, facilities, yes. Uh, they, are, they are doing a great job in Bosnia and Herzegovina and what is very important to mention and I'm really proud that I can present it, uh, the Telemax company, they have their own product, uh, 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 mo uh, um, mobility, mobiliar, uh, smart, yes, yeah, smart, smart products. The bench that is solar, uh, on solar uh, 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 energy and it is <clears throat> multifunctional. Uh, it, it can be used for the advertisement advertisement for the marketing, for the charging of electrical bicycles, electrical uh, mopeds, electric, uh, mobile phones, and it's really uh, in the concept of this uh, smart solution, smart cities, and, and smart uh, life, I would say. Uh, so it is really, I think that, uh, Ariana, you will, you will correct me, you are the only one, the only yes. produce, producer of these kind of products, so. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, and tourism, uh, I would say... Oh, free of charge. <laughs> no, as I said, uh, we are really proud that we can share this information. It's, it's important for us uh, as the country that we have some leading producers and leading providers of services that we can share with you and that we can offer to the world. And the tourism is really uh, something that we um, didn't use uh, a lot uh, in, in previous years. It's becoming more interesting in, in last years. It's a really um, um, undiscovered treasure of our country. Uh, I will just say that uh, we have the biggest preserved rainforest in Europe. It's called Peruchica. It is the most beautiful uh, uh, nature and area that we can offer to someone that comes in our country. 
We have the second deepest canyon in the world. It's Tara Canyon, and uh, it is the uh, one uh, after uh, Colorado. <laughs> well, world uh, famous Colorado. We are. The, we have. We can offer the second deepest canyon in the world. Uh, of course, the Olympic Mountain Yahorina, uh, the Olympic Games were held in, in, that, in that time for, in Yugoslavia, former Yugoslavia in 1984, and the, the, the mountain and all mud, uh, mountains around the Yahorina are developing, so it is actually the Sarajevo region where Sanja and Mirsad are coming from, and we have new great potentials in skiing uh, and, and uh, winter, uh, tourism offer in, in this area. There are uh, a lot of other mountains that can offer you a great uh, uh, experience by walking, mountain, mountaining, and, and uh, also the rivers with kayaking and rafting. It's really, I, 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 I would need a day uh, to, to present you our touristic potentials. What I like to say, we have a rivers that you can drink water from these rivers. Uh, it's really, uh, uh, we have wild horses running around when you are driving to Croatia, for example. And uh, uh, we had, um, uh, uh, okay, world championship in rafting. We had uh, in uh, European championship in uh, kayaking. And I'm sorry that I didn't have time to put the, 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 the great picture uh, in the canyon of Verbas, the river where me and my colleague Yelena are coming from. Uh, the town is Banja Luka and there is a river Verbas. Uh, we had twice uh, this um, um, National Geographic published that picture. You know when you have a canyon of the river and these hammocks over the, 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 the canyon on the really big high. So we had that event twice and it's really scary to see, but it's such a great experience for people who are not afraid of height. Uh, I will stop talking about the, the, the tourism. It's really something that we can uh, spare a day on, on this. These are some uh, pictures and, and, uh, and the landscapes and the uh, um, places that are really uh, showing the history and the nature of Bosnia and Herzegovina and shortly about the chamber. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce of the Entity of Republic of Ser Srpska is established in 1920, uh, 1992, but we have five regional chambers and some of them are uh, over, for example, Banja Luka Regional Chamber is uh, uh, more than 120 years old. So all chambers in, 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 in the region, uh, in, in former Yugoslavia, they have a, 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 a big tradi tradition and a very well established infrastructure as a business support organizations. Uh, we have 16 branch associations covering the whole industry and the economy, and we have um, a more or less 10,000 uh, 10, members. Uh, what we are doing, exactly the same what each chamber <laughs> of commerce is doing, uh, first, we are presenting the interest of business community before the uh, decision makers, before, before the government and parliaments. We are doing a lot in the sense of internationalization, providing our companies to present their products and services to uh, thank you, you can show the picture later, thank you. Uh, 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 we are uh, organizing the trade fairs uh, in, uh, in abroad and in our country, business missions, bilateral meetings, and uh, of course working a lot on regional cooperation. Uh, in last years, we are focusing, uh, focusing a lot on digitalization and innovation. Uh, within the chamber, we established the Center for Digital Transformation and providing services for the companies in, in this digital transition. We have 10 consultants that are certified by the uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce of Austria according to the ISO, ISO 70024, so it's really uh, service on the high level. And we are a part of digital and innovation hubs that are actually in the establishment process in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, of course, uh, promoting the local economy and uh, what we are um, uh, working a lot in last years is the education. We are trying to establish the system of um, learning by doing providing for students more practice in companies. 
and it is something that we used to have in former system in former Yugoslavia. Now we are learning again and trying to in all, all the best practices uh, from the Europe in our system. And it's uh, well functioning now. The, the good example in the region is Serbia. They are, they are the, the best example in learning by doing system of uh, school. Uh, we are part of uh, European Enterprise, yeah, Enterprise Europe network. It's actually a global network of business support organizations, companies, universities, and all other providers for, for, for the business community. Uh, what I'm very proud of, we have a, a Women Entrepreneurship Council within the chamber. Uh, it is established uh, more than 10 years ago, and uh, we are working on the strategy for the women development and for the involvement of women in business and uh, um, uh, organizing uh, conferences and trade fairs for uh, women entrepreneurs and trying to uh, engage uh, more women in, in business uh, environment. Uh, this is something that is a product of our uh, digitalization and innovation activities. Uh, we are representative of uh, business-friendly certification program in South and East Europe. Actually, we are representatives for the Republic of Srpska. And it is a, a certification process uh, meant for the local authorities, for municipalities and cities. Uh, municipalities and cities are fulfilling this, the, the requirements of this standard and they are becoming a business friendly environment for, for, for the business community. And as a result, we have 16 uh, local authorities, municipalities that gain this certificate. As I said, it's a regional, it's Southeast Europe uh, program, and uh, as a result of uh, involvement in business-friendly certification, our municipalities um, uh, had chance to develop some digitalized services. So we have this municipality intelligence assistant in a couple of um, municipalities in Republic of Srpska. It's MIA and it's artificial intelligence service for the citizens and for the companies. So you don't have to go to, 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 to the municipality to ask for some uh, information or to go through some administrative procedure. You can do it via MIA. Uh, as, as I told, some of the administrative services are in the system and the others are still in, 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 uh, in procedure because the municipality officers are working on that, uh, developing this system. And the other one is uh, also related to di digitalization, it's in agriculture. We uh, helped some uh, local authorities to establish uh, a, so a software AgroLife uh, that, uh, uh, that is actually a software to, for the management of agricultural land and it's, uh, it, it provides the information uh, related to weather forecast, the humidity, the, the growing of the plants. Uh, whatever some farmer needs to have as an information, uh, the treatment of the plants, uh, the, the time frame for the treatment of the plants, etc., 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 the farmer is able to do that via his or her mobile phone. They have all the information and, and the, the, the alarms and everything that is necessary to react in the real time uh, 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 when it needs on the field. Uh, these are some uh, some um, uh, these are some portals that we developed. Uh, the Infobiz uh, and the Viber community. This is the project that we work together. The Mirsad's chamber and our chamber. We developed the uh, communication channels for our for our uh, members for our companies uh, to reach the information easily about the legislative procedure about the uh, um, available uh, funds for their projects we have an e-portal for education and we have a portal for business community where uh, they can uh, reach the information about the other companies and also share uh, their, uh, their available, uh, 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 available uh, whatever they have available in their production, uh, they can, uh, what they can rent or uh, uh, share with other companies, they can publish on our portal and they can uh, uh, recognize each other. Uh, I will just shortly say what is the purpose. The purpose is uh, now 
uh, because we are in a big, big lack of labor force in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's not a news uh, in, in Europe generally. We are all facing the, the population aging and uh, 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 big migration processes, and we are losing a lot of people because people are moving to other countries. And now we are focusing this, our portal, to um, companies that they can share information if they have available workers uh, for other companies to, 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 how to say, to share or to, to, to um, yeah, to share people for other companies that are in a lack of labor force. Uh, as I said, it's a big challenge, so we are exporting uh, foreign labor force from other countries to, to help our uh, business community to keep their uh, business processes. And in last years also, uh, the Chamber is focusing on circular economy, energy efficiency and renewables. We talk a lot about the upcoming obligations for Bosnia and Herzegovina related to CBAM and uh, uh, other, other requests uh, related to sustainability and supply chain that is uh, so in some countries, it is already low in, in, at, the, at the level of European Union. The directive is in, in, in procedure, and it will uh, put some uh, higher requests for our companies to be partners for the EU partners. Uh, it's all about ESG principles. It's all about the sustainability, the supply chain, the traceability. So it, it is something that is going to be a big challenge for, for the economy of Bosnia and Herzegovina and other economies in the region. So we started to work a lot, to talk a lot about these uh, requests uh, to prepare our business community for what is coming. Uh, <laughs> this is a slide that shows the export and import uh, communication between the Republic of Srpska and Nigeria. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the numbers and the percentages are small, but it shows that we have some cooperation already. These figures are for 2022, uh, and I have to say that in this year, in the first seven months, seven months of this year, the Republic of Srpska uh, had no activity to Nigeria. We didn't export anything, but we imported from the Nigeria these herbs and part of herbs, actually, the, uh, mostly the, the spices uh, that we are importing from Nigeria. So uh, I would say that there is a big potential for cooperation. And that's it. I already prepared, I, I also prepared a one movie that shows the beauty of the nature of Bosnia and Herzegovina, but unfortunately uh, it's not uh, possible to, 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 to show it here, to present it. I don't know why, because of the technical obstacles. So uh, uh, you will have to come and to see how it is beautiful in Bosnia and Herzegovina. <laughs> Thank you. No pressure. No here. pressure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for your invitation. Your Excellency, dear guests coming from Nigeria, Lagos, it's a pleasure being today in Belgrade. Uh, my name is Sanja Miocic and I'm Executive Director of Foreign Investors Council, a major independent business association uh, established in 2006 in Bosnia and Herzegovina with uh, central office in Sarajevo. We gather uh, investors coming from all over the world who have jointly invested more than 4.5 billion euros into Bosnia and Herzegovina so far. They employ uh, tens of thousands of employees and together uh, we have 70 companies. Together we work with governments on each level uh, on legislation and regulatory reforms. So how do we act? We are acting as a lobbying and advocating platform as a communication bridge between public and private sector and trying to, to initiate uh, various, uh, uh, because given that you are familiar probably with Bosnia and Herzegovina and how fragmented the legal system is. We have, as I, as I mentioned earlier, 160 ministers. Um, so it's, there is a lot of work to be done in harmonizing legislation, not just with EU, but also within, within uh, our country itself. Um, uh, thank you for having 
such, such great presentations and, and uh, giving such useful insights and valuable informations about doing business in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So from my side, there's really nothing, nothing more to say to that. That's why I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about something else now today. And um, I'm going to use um, a keyword that you, Your Excellency used, which is focus. So I would like to focus on why we are here today and how it all started. And I want, want us all to be aware of the power of networking. And this is what it is. Uh, this is how we started as a, in a gathering, a business gathering two years ago. Was it three years ago when we met? It was, yes, but first, 2021, yes. but first it was uh, 2020. It was Corona time, right? When we, when we were, uh, together online at, at the conference where we met. Um, later on, we had a follow-up. Um, and then we, we met in person in Yahorin at, at the event we organized uh, under the name Global Business Executive Retreat, where uh, there was the first panel on this topic, Western Balkans, West Africa. And thank you for coming and thank you for, for for starting all this. So, so I'm putting a focus on, on five I's here, I as, as E. So it started as an ID. Uh, then we went into second phase, which was initiate something. Um, thank you, Dada, for implementing it all uh, with, with the support of Your Excellency and, and various stakeholders. Many of them are online, we are aware of that. Um, so thank you for inspiring us all. Thank you for showing us what could be done here and how a small group of people can affect and impact many things and start many things. So given that we are still in the implementation phase, hopefully uh, leading all of us into next phase, which is investment, which is a word we like to hear. Uh, investing investments coming from both sides, from our side to your region and from your side to our region as well. So that's, that's our role here to play, I guess. To, to promote, to talk, to use our networks, our connections, and primarily to use the hub uh, you have created and we have now all a platform, very useful platform, uh, that we, we should all use and promote further. Because given that, that now we, we have like, like a playground, <laughs> let's, let's play there and let's use uh, all this what we have. It took us two, three years, but uh, there have been many initiatives. And now, if you ask me, in order to be, to be proactive and to, to, if you allow me to give some suggestions, uh, we need to, we have all recognized the sectors and potentials into investing from both sides, as I said. Uh, now we have to identify companies, partners, and see how we can strengthen invest, investments, uh, sorry, investments relations. Uh, also, uh, what we should, we should do next I mean, we are not very familiar with your region. You've presented it so much, but uh, there are so many um, unknown facts and things we, we probably don't understand. Uh, however, speaking from investors' perspective, anywhere in the world, investor needs uh, security and stability. And uh, primarily financial stability, absolutely political stability, protection of their investments, also um, rule of law, implementation of rule of law. I'm, I'm talking from my, my perspective as well, because whenever investors are coming to Bosnia and Herzegovina, that's what they ask. And also um, creating very, very sustainable business environment with uh, potential of, of growth. For the rest, um, I guess, uh, it's absolutely case-to-case -case basis, but those are things that we need to to put in focus and uh, have answers ready when investor from your side or from our side comes. is going to ask, 
very, very uh, general, but also very, very direct questions. Um, what I would like to, to make this is proactive event. So uh, we, we have presented Bosnia and Herzegovina Bravo for us. That, that's why we are we are kind of having. A, uh, majority here because it actually all started there. So. We are the center of Balkan. Yes, we are in the heart of Europe. And we are very modest, as you can tell. It's <laughs> extremely, extremely well. So, um, I'm now organizing an event, uh, Power of Sustainability, also dealing with future of sustainability development in, in the Western Balkans. Uh, our focus is when we promote uh, the country, we actually promote the region. We are trying to promote the region, the Western Balkans region, because it makes sense, especially if we want to attract uh, big players, big investors, we need to, to give them opportunity that, that this is a, that the regional market is, is, is an opportunity, an option. Um, so I, I think I focused my attention and your attention here to the importance of gathering, networking, and working together. And I would like to, to give floor to you for uh, further questions or discussion or whatever, because I think we, you already had, we took a lot of your attention so far. Thank you for that, and let's, let's move forward. Let's play. Yes. I would like to open the floor for questions to our audience in the in the room and also if we can double check if there is some questions online. Um, so what do we see? Don't be shy. Maybe some questions if we remain from the previous session. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentations, which were very informative. Um, I took notice of the wood processing area, which I had heard about even about a year or so ago. And I believe that one of the areas that Nigeria could work with a country like uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina is in the area of the small and medium um, enterprises because you can actually achieve a lot of volume there. Um, so I was interested to understand that one, you have the timber, and two, you have the skill. And um, I had been told before that in the past, it had died down a little bit because a lot of the industry was going to China, and then also maybe a lot of the skilled labor were leaving for other parts of uh, Europe. But so I'm interested to find out now, is this area um, growing? Is it being re-established? That's the first question. And related to that is, how would a collaboration with Niger, how would it work? Because there's a lot of uh, development in the furniture area in Nigeria. Um, there's some concern about deforestation in Nigeria, so exportation of wood may not be primarily the way to go, but the skill, collaboration in terms of the skill, and then possibly are you looking more towards investment in Bosnia or having collaboration and investment out of Bosnia in Nigeria to grow that um, to work with people or to partner with people in Nigeria, in that area. Okay. <laughs> Who has the correct answer? <laughs> 
consensus. Sorry. <laughs> no, we are there just are three questions there. I guess maybe too many questions. No, well, as, as far as I understood, the question is actually how we can improve co or, or, or actually how we can establish cooperation between the wood processing uh, sector uh, producers or representatives. Uh, as I said, we have. Um, uh, we have uh, producers that are producing a high level, high quality uh, furniture, and not only furniture, but the uh, the floors and the uh, what is the word for um, the doors and windows. Yes, uh, so really uh, high high level and highly equipped with the technology and uh, workforce in that sense, so, and exporting to Italy, to Germany, to France. We started with the France market, which is a very demanding market, and uh, for the Scandinavian countries. Mm? Scandinavian. Yes, and Scandinavian countries. Uh, what is missing for me, actually, to provide you with the correct answer is what are the what is the situation in Nigeria? What are the needs of Nigeria? And what is the level of uh, development of, of the wood processing sector in Nigeria? So we could compare and explore where are the possibilities to cooperate. I, I know what we can offer from our side. As I said, the furniture, the flooring, and the and the and the wood and uh, sorry, the windows and the doors, but. I'm not sure, and we have a raw material, we have a forestry and, and uh, tradition and technology. We can, uh, uh, there are also examples of cooperation that some our companies are working for some other producer, uh, only parts of the furniture. As I mentioned, I mentioned IKEA is one globally recognized brand. Uh, from Scandinavia, but it's globally recognized. Some of our companies are working only for IKEA and only parts of the furniture. Some others have their own products uh, exporting outside. Uh, for example, a few days ago, I was sitting with the um, owner of one really good uh, furniture company, and he said this is globally, the situation is like this. The, the, the uh, needs are shortening, at least in Europe because of the crisis and everything. And he said, uh, it's so hard to sell uh, a cheaper product. I'm selling only the high quality and most expensive products that I produce. <coughs> so it's, it's, it's as I said, uh, we, what, what we actually, and the, the mostly missed, what Sanya also said, we missed the information from Nigeria. You know, we missed the information, what, what, what what is the, 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 the what is the need of the producers there? What what are the niches when we can create partnership? Do you have a producers that need services in our country, or you need the know-how from our country, or we can use know-how from your country? Uh, maybe there is an option to export import wood timber. I have no idea because we are in a lack of information from Nigerian side. And I would use opportunity uh, to, to mention one thing more. What we need from Nigerian side is the, the whole procedure of the establishment of the company. What are the steps? What are the costs? Uh, where we can find a reliable partner. I'm so glad that, that, that the president of the chamber is here. We, we, it, it's always a good. Uh, uh, option to communicate and to 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 get some available valu valuable and and uh, uh, good correct information. That is what we have to improve after this event today. Concrete information. I, I mean, we can provide you exactly with the numbers and capacities of our producers. But what we need, we need that same information from your side, and then we can recognize the potential cooperation. I'm sorry if I, 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 like if I, if I didn't have correct answer, but... I would like to mention something. Uh, it is important which uh, Dragana told, that is, uh, we are not in huge quantity. Uh, all our company work with special design, owner design, and, uh, and a high level of quality. Yeah. It's really expensive furniture. This is focus which we uh, push up 
our company. We cannot uh, be competitive with some big markets, China and Poland and so on. Uh, we, it is not our, uh, uh, our topics. Our topics is high level quality, expensive furniture and special design. All our uh, company which get the gold medals in this international affair, this, it is this type of. Uh, also, uh, it is important uh, to, to, to think, we, uh, it's not good to think about furniture as products, as only chairs or table. No, it is important to think uh, through the uh, architectural design, uh, interiors. Uh, all, for example, in, uh, in last years, it's, uh, too, uh, it's booming regarding to be modeling in designing. It is building information modeling. It is a final level of uh, architect uh, using the uh, AutoCAD and similar softwares to make design. And accordingly to some law in some of European country, it's not possible to build uh, any uh, public building without designing, manufacturing, preparing through the BIM modeling. It means that uh, producer of furniture, producer of special chairs, wardrobe or something similar, uh, windows, doors, will be in database, database of BIM modeling products. It means when the, uh, some uh, expensive architect to prepare new building, new villas, new hotels, they collect, make design with a special, a special produce from database already which, which book it in BIM modeling. The chairs, which number of uh, uh, quality, some special specification details, and who is producer and so on. Directly in, in, in drawing of, of design. Uh, the, the, maybe the for future cooperation between these two sectors. To introduce each other, the companies, which think about furniture on the same, uh, on the same time maybe together to establish the company in Nigeria. Why not? To, to, to produce together, to design together, to exchange some of information regarding to market in this Balkan region and also in region of Nigeria. It is, this, it is the focus, not, not big quantity, big numbers of producing products, no. Special design, special quali high level quality and expensive furniture. If Thank I you. may add only one sentence, uh, uh, Mirsa, remind me. Also, what is maybe interesting for the Nigerian market or the Nigerian citizens, uh, or Lago citizens, uh, there is also um, uh, uh, there are also producers that are producing mobile homes from the wood, uh, with with the with the quality isolations and the treatment of the wood that you don't need some extra isolation. Uh, to keep you from warm or cold weather. So maybe it is something, as, as we heard, you have a great population, huge population. Maybe there is a niche for, for this kind of products to be interesting for your market. Mobile home and smart. Mobile yes, homes, mobile and yeah, smart building, and sm yes. including uh, solar, solar, panels solar panels and everything which is necessary. Yes, we can combine all that. Mobile home and solar panels, so completely sustainable house from Boston years ago, <laughs> Thank you. Well, just a very short uh, contribution. When I had the presentation uh, of what is happening here, we can see very clearly that some of them, if not all, are the very strong areas that Nigeria would need at a time like this. You spoke about ICT, you spoke on marine and blue economy, about energy and agriculture, and others. Those are some of the major areas of emphasis of the current uh, administration in Nigeria. Let me say very clearly that
these are strong areas of possibilities. And I have heard all the time here that you are saying you are small, you are small, you do small things, you know, but, you know, high quality. I want to say this is the time to, to up the game. This is the time to grow your businesses because you now have a market that is formidable. As you have the market for the people who are very, very ordinary, and, but in good number, which is good for, your, for the business of the small, small things that you do, you also have an, a group of allies in Nigeria, the top hierarchy of Nigeria, who will want the very top thing you are talking about. You have any bigger number. I mean, in Lagos alone, we know over 20 million people. And Nigeria has over 200 million people. So we have it all over the whole place. So I think, to me, is a chance to grow your infrastructure your facilities. If you are doing 10,000 now, be looking at doing 100 million in possibilities. So, and that to me is a way to increase your bottom line. Let me say clearly here that in July this year, the Nigerian government declared state of emergency on food, on food security on food security state of emergency that means that's an area that we must try and work on urgently because if you take food poverty out of people's life and then you have taken a lot out of them a lot of people are on the streets who are getting nothing who are not even sure of what to eat the next hour. And there are many who cannot think of what to do the next one, who cannot what to eat in the next in the next one week. If you can take that off the table as a challenge, oh you have more people living much longer, you know, uh, in most uh, places of the world. So for the ICT industry it's a great potential in Nigeria. Have you hear of the flutter wave? We have many of these companies that are icons now globally in the world of ICT. And they're doing so many brilliant things now globally that they are making money. The number of Nigerian young guys in the world of ICT are now making money outside Nigeria for Nigeria. So these are areas we can work together. And the beauty is that our Chamber of Commerce, we have 27 trade groups covering the different areas of businesses in Nigeria. And all the big companies from Dangote and Co are members of the Legal Chamber of Commerce. So they're all there. So I think beyond what we're doing today, tomorrow or so, there'll be need for us to draw a memorandum of understanding, an MOU, to plan what we want to do in collaboration, and to plan what are the things we want to do, and to plan what are the timelines. So that we will we'll, we'll not just be a talk show, and after that, Nothing will, nothing will happen. There have been several of these we've been involved in the past. But I kept warning that I won't travel all the way from Nigeria Absolutely. to come and talk. I want to come in here and achieve something. And I know from what we are doing here in this program, we can <laughs> open up a lot of big things between Nigeria and the Balkan region. Because that's an area of the world that Nigeria has not owned her eyes to. And that also in Africa, 
that's what that's part of the world that the Bakar region is not open their eyes into. And that's the area now that most world powers are looking into Africa. But well, that's the place for growth now and tomorrow. If you do 1%, 2% profit in Europe, good figures, 5, 6, 6%, good figures, 7%, good figures, as gross, as gross, uh, gross income. But in Nigeria, in Africa, you can do 80, you can do 40, you can do 25%. Tell me, somebody say, oh, what are the risks of making this big money and the possibility of making no money? All these risk factors are there. Globally, globally, in 2005, 2007, no, 2003, 2005, I was president of the Nigerian British Chamber of Commerce, and I had trade mission to the UK for those two years. And in those days, they were asking me all about uh, fraud, 419, security in Nigeria. And I told him, I, I'm not, I have not been a victim of 419. The only letter I got in my home with Edgewa in England was from a company in Europe trying to do 419 with me in Nigeria. And luckily, I took a copy because I, I probably thought it would come up. And I showed it to them. It's not from Nigeria. By that, I told them very clearly that bad people are everywhere, good people are also everywhere. It depends on who you are talking to. That's why I say don't work outside organized private sector. If you deal with the Chamber of Commerce in this country, if we are doing business from Nigeria with a company, with a company here, let me be sure they are members of the Chamber of Commerce here. So at least we have a place to report to if anything should go wrong. And the embassy, yeah. you have to protect yourselves. I told them very clearly. And about security, I said, tell me anywhere in the world, even 2004 and 5, tell me where in the world that there are no challenges. Tell me one. And I will tell you that 2004, I was coming from Florida on the holidays. I passed through London. And I was staying in uh, an apartment at uh, Notting Hill Gate, around the city of London. The only attack in my life up to today I had received was, from, was, was in London, not in Nigeria. Yeah. I've never had police escort now, but I didn't have them before. So I've never been attacked before in Nigeria. I just left my hotel room, my apartment room to go and have breakfast. I came with a very early flight from Florida. And I had my small bag, having my, in those days, traveler checks. You know, traveler checks. In these days, we use cards. You know, traveler checks in those days. About two, three thousand dollars I had in my bag. My travel ticket, my passport. And I was just going recently to go and have breakfast. It was snatched from the back by two gentlemen who had packed their car somewhere. And as soon as they attacked me, I started shouting, Ole, Ole, Ole. Ole means thief. Mm -hmm. I thought I was, I was in Nigeria. Oh, I said, oh, I'm in London. I said, I said oh, thief, thief, thief. But they, they had gone. So I have to say in, in a nutshell that bad people are everywhere. You can tell me you can make 40%, 30%. What are the risks? The risk, is, the risk is minimal. The risk is minimal. Please calm down, big time, agree. Big protectionist in agree. The government declared state of emergency on food scarcity July this year. So they need investors who can put a lot of money and their, and their talents into that area.
to see how to put table food on the table for our people and be able to even export uh, our our products. Blue economy or blue or marine economy, for the first time ever, the government now has a ministry for blue economy. That tells you that you can come down big time and show your potentials in developing our marine, the marine world in, you know, in Nigeria. Not only in Lagos, over the whole country. We have money over the whole, over the whole, over the whole place. That's what I need to, to add. And I want to appeal that the papers presented, let us have their copies um, virtually, or soft, soft copies of those papers, because you can take them back home, and let people know what are the opportunities here. Because as Nigerians, as you can come to Nigeria to invest, Nigerians too can come here to invest. There are a lot of big Nigerians who are investing in the whole world. America are members of the Lagos Chief of Commerce. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Michael. Thank you, dear colleagues, for building bridges between our two regions, uh, through pa two parts of the world. Uh, Michael and James will tell us very briefly about an uh, important milestone, launching of Nigeria Balkan Business Hub. And uh, we will also proceed to networking after lunch. So there will be two rooms, one on this floor adjacent and one uh, upstairs. And you will have the chance after, after lunch to talk more in detail with colleagues, uh, depending on the sector where you are at. I, uh, I open the floor to, to James and Michael. Michael and congrats on, on successful launch. All right, thank you very much. Um, I, I, I kind of like Bosnia.